Hello everyone guys and by the end of this video you will be able to recreate this perfect QE animation even if you are a complete beginner and highly recommend you guys to watch this video until the end because I hit a gift for you. So enjoy watching. And guys, if you are a beginner in the After Effects and you want to boost your animation skills, just watch the next 10 seconds. I just want to say that if you want to learn After Effects faster, yeah, if you are a complete beginner, I made a special tutorial for you. You can now watch different breakdowns and tutorials about After Effects and be closer to me so we will keep in touch. You can ask me different stuff, yeah, about After Effects, everything. So guys, I will just put down below the link on my website and you can check it out later. We are already in the After Effects and I like this animation so much. So first thing first, we are going to create uh, this perfect background. Uh, we will try to make it not uh, very static uh, because we want to uh, make it looks more interesting. Yeah. And uh, as for me, this design is uh, pretty cool. I will uh, show you some tricks and tips uh, how to make it as well. But now let's first uh, create the new composition uh, and we will use just this uh, preset landscape and uh, this is what we have right now so guys uh, now we are about to create uh, the solid so we can make it like this and then uh, we can find uh, effects for color gradient and apply it after guys we found it uh, we are going to um, adjust some colors so here probably we will make it in this way so but it's up to you i'm just showing how i made it by myself so let's make it in this way something like that so i think it should be pretty good so something like this and also guys we are going to create a gradient overlay so it's here and after we created this uh, layer style we are going to open it and uh, let's adjust uh, this gradient as well so here i want to select this two colors and also let's uh, decrease uh, the opacity maybe something like this so we will see how it looks better but now guys uh, we are going to find the angle and pressing the alt button on my keyboard i write in this uh, expression time multiplied to let's set about 50 maybe we will uh, correct it so guys as you can see now uh, our gradient uh, it is not static and um, it has this movement uh, and for the background it will be pretty cool uh, if you will use this feature because as you can see on the timeline uh, it's moving uh, our gradient uh, already done here yeah? you can see uh, there's a bit difference between both of them uh, but guys uh, anyway i will leave this project file so you will be able to download it uh, it will be in this folder project files so you're welcome you can already download it and uh, now guys let's uh, make this uh, cutie um, and pretty uh, shapes yes yeah, so that's what we gonna do let's uh, create a shape it will be like this um, also we want to make it with the gradient uh, guys you can adjust your gradient so uh, if you'll see here how i made it uh, we have for example here white yeah and here uh, it's more um, similar to blue color yeah so uh, we can make it as well let's uh, increase the opacity uh, by the way on the top uh, at the top we can uh, adjust the opacity yeah of our gradient that's why i'm making it so uh, let's choose uh, both colors so for example it will be purple and it will be white so if you don't like it or maybe you can uh, you want to decrease the opacity for example over here so you are able to do it then guys uh, we are going to the layer styles and let's uh, use the drop shadow uh, but before we are going to remove the stroke and now it looks like this it looks very cool and um, here guys we are able to change the color for example i want to make it dark purple so now it looks like this and i like it let's uh, change a bit the color to make it more darker and guys it will be like that i like this so much so guys uh, the next what we have here this is uh, the second rectangle uh, with the same feature uh, of our gradient yeah so it's not static they're rotating as you can see yeah here so we're going to make the same 
Uh, so let's try to make it fast because I want to save your time as well. So for example, it will be... Uh, by the way, you can also try to use the radial gradient, guys. It's up to you. Let's choose any color we want, for example, like this, yeah. And uh, there will be our text somewhere here, yeah. And I think uh, the color is fine. We will leave it like this. Uh, we can also use the layer styles. Um, we can also drop shadow and uh, guys also if you want you can uh, test uh, the bevel em embos but uh, it's up to you maybe you will leave it uh, also pretty cool feature so um here guys let's try to make it fast uh we can see how how it looks yeah uh, so the same uh you will apply the uh, gradient overlay as we did uh for our background here yeah so to make it not static so you will uh, make the same expression on the angle and uh, that's how we are going to make uh, this movable uh, gradient so the next feature uh, as you can see guys we have here this white uh, color on the corner so it also looks so nice and uh, the way uh, to make it we are going to find the light sweep effect already here and now guys we are going to find the center we can leave it somewhere here and now guys uh, we are going to decrease the sweep intensity and here we are able to change the edge thickness and edge intensity and guys after this uh, we just will be able to change the direction yeah, of it so the same expression time uh, maybe it will be 30 let's see how it looks so yeah it will be the same uh, so guys you can play with these properties and make um, as you wish so probably uh, you will make it uh, more white or more thin so it's up to you as i said but anyway uh, this feature is very cool i like it so much i'm not sure you need uh, sweep intensity because it will be like that and i'm not sure you need it uh, but guys probably you will use also one more feature so as you can see here yeah and this slide sweep um, is here as well so that's how you can make this cool uh, lighting that uh, goes across yeah, uh, your shape so you will just use the light sweep over here uh, usually I use this direction and uh, then guys uh, you will just need to uh, set the center here and uh, in time when you need it uh, we are going to press this uh, keyframe and now we are going to the next second so and now it looks like this uh, here guys you can only uh, play with these settings so with widths so i think it will be pretty good if you will leave it like this um probably a bit more maybe so anyway guys it will be pretty fine let's find our keyframes uh, you can guys make them easy east so easy east uh, or you can press f9 on your keyboard and that's how you can make it uh, but i don't know why it's not visible sweep intensity increased yeah and now it looks like this yeah guys and i like it so much this is very cool feature to use in your projects uh, what else what else uh, okay let's make this text so guys uh, the text uh, i made is it's pretty easy so uh, let's find the personalize uh, it's easy but guys it's boring so to save your time i just want to say uh, to show you i just want to show you how i made this so uh, here we can see the text and some keyframes uh, they are position and uh, opacity so uh, here opacity uh, set it to the zero and position is below yeah and then it comes to the top um, for the personalize uh, i made this bounce so it goes uh, a bit higher and then it goes to the middle somewhere here yeah and that's how uh, i animated uh, this text so i used uh, the same uh, technique to another uh, part of the text and guys uh, about this start recording uh, we're going to make it in the same way just make uh, guys this uh, rounded rectangle so like this and uh, i just filled it uh, with one color uh, it is perfect uh, in my case so it looks like this so we just need to add here the text yeah 
so we have uh, this text here yeah? start recording uh, we can change uh, this fill color to white and guys we need to make uh, one more shape uh, pressing shift on my keyboard i'm making this perfect round uh, with the ellipse tool uh, but i want to remove the fill option and uh, i will just leave here the stroke let it be just about uh, one pixel then guys we can um, pressing ctrl d uh, make the second ellipse now i'm pressing shift and uh, increasing it so now it looks like this and uh, on the ellipse number three i just want to uh, find the stroke and here let's add some dashes so let it be like this and we will have this cute uh, uh, text with this uh, like a play yeah like a ready to start icon with this uh, ellipses so after that guys we are going just to pre-compose uh, these three layers with the text uh, then guys we are going just to play with the scale but before to make it make sure you have uh, the keyframe on the middle of your rectangle so somewhere here and then you will play with uh, the scale uh, you will play it uh, when your arrow yeah finger uh, will uh, put uh, on this button so in in the time yeah like it clicks uh, we need to just uh, play with the scale like this um, by the way guys uh, this uh, hands and uh, everything you will be able also to download it will be in the assets so you will just need to drag it like this if you will do it by your by yourself yeah um, and find this effect it named shutter apply it here guys uh, set um, these properties rendered um, shape custom we are applying it uh, to our hand yeah so that's why I'm uh setting here my hand and then force number one set it uh, to zero everything uh, now we are going to the camera position so that's how we can make it looks like a 3d uh, we want to make it to increase the depth like this uh, but let's find the textures and on the side mode we are going to find color so it will be like this you can change here the color um, but anyway it will be more dark color so we are going just to leave it like this maybe and it will be pretty good uh, so guys uh, the way to animate your uh, hand here yeah, uh, clicking on this uh, icon uh, we need first of all let's uh, decrease the scale and set the camera position in this way so guys here we have uh, camera position yeah and we will need to use uh, this x rotation so we will just need to use the keyframes for it so let's make it in this way so for example you will make it in this way then then like this and let's set it to zero at the end and it will be looks like this so yeah and uh, when your hand will tap this uh, button uh, you will just need to uh, scale down it so and that's how we can make it uh, here guys uh, you can see when our hand tapping yeah uh, everything uh, i mean this uh, started recording yeah it um, disappears and uh, we need here to add uh, this just text with these uh, shapes pretty easy and uh, then we are going to make this line this line uh, making uh, also pretty easy we just need to uh, by the way make sure you uh, that nothing is selected yeah and we need to make this uh, stroke yeah like this and uh, cha uh, change the color yeah to the green so i'm making it fast so just to make sure that you understand uh, we just need to use the trim pass for it guys so here as you can see I've added the trim pass yeah and uh, when you will need it you just use the different for the end of it yeah so for example it will be here and uh, we're going a bit further and let's set it to one 
100. So that's how it looks. Uh, pretty easy, guys. So guys, uh, the next scene you can uh, see how uh, I'm dragging uh, this uh, success record, uh, putting it somewhere here, yeah, and uh, then it like uh, transporting uh, this shape to the prospect contact list. I made it also pretty easy. So when I need uh, here. I'm changing uh, from the regular uh, hand yeah, uh, to the drag, drag one. So uh, from this one to this one and uh, it's pretty easy, just uh, regular hand disappears and uh, we like uh, pasting here uh, this drag yeah, hand that drags. Yeah. So and uh, the same, we just need to change the position uh, of our hand and make it in this way. So guys, here as you can see, uh, we have successful record, yeah, and uh, I also added here this light sweep. Uh, it looks very cool, so, and the same, you can see that this hand uh, rotates and uh, this is a very cool feature. So that's how it works. Let's remove this hand. And guys, then uh, we can see this uh, 3D panel, something like that, yeah. Uh, with different uh, contexts, so the same you will need just to use the rounded rectangle to make it uh, uh, just a, a bit boring work, uh, but as I said, uh, you are able to download this project file and uh, see how it works inside. Uh, and guys, also on the background you can see these lines, um, I made it uh, just to make a bit uh, more interesting uh, view for our animation. So for example here guys, um, I made just the lines. Let's increase the opacity to 100. Uh, so guys, here we can see these lines and I've added the turbulent displays and uh, I used the same expression we made uh, with our time. So to the evolution and uh, our animation will be uh, play in this way. Yeah, so it looks wavy and uh, pretty good for the eye. So let's decrease a bit. And uh, the same here, uh, we can see this uh, like curves. Yeah, and uh, to make these curves uh, wavy, we just need to find uh, the wave. So we need to find the stroke. And here we, we can see this wave and uh, we can see increase the amount as you can see here it's about 86 persons and then uh, we just need to time multiplied by five on the face yeah on face section so guys uh, then animation is pretty easy and uh, it looks really really cool and uh, stylish so i hope i helped you and this video uh, was really useful for you. So let me know please in the comments. Um, it will help me so much. Uh, so guys, we'll see you in the next video and goodbye.